Hi, welcome back. I'm Dr. Patty. I'm Dr. Angela. And today we want to talk to you about hormonal birth control, which may include hormonal IUDs mm -hmm. as well as the birth control pill or oral contraceptive. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of Dr. Angela's patients and my patients are on hormonal birth control, obviously to not have a baby. But in addition to helping you not have a baby, it does deplete the body of certain nutrients and minerals. And not many people are aware that this is happening with their birth control. So today we wanted to talk to you a little bit about what nutrients are getting depleted and what you should replace. Yeah. And I mean, it does happen pretty much across the board. Some people tolerate things better than others. Like, in other words, some people have more symptoms than others. But one of the telltale signs is that um, there's depression, low mood, irritability, that sort of thing. Um, pretty big tip off that you're probably depleted in some of the key vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. Yep. So what are some of the vitamins that... Uh birth control pills and IUDs deplete. Yeah, so enough. the B vitamins are the big ones in terms of the Bs. Um, sorry, in terms of the vitamins. So B12, B6, folate. And so there's different ways of getting these in. You can certainly take them all separately and or you can take them in a combined formula like a B complex or a multivitamin, so we'll get into that. But essentially the Bs, B12, B6, folate. And other minerals that are depleted as well include selenium, mm -hmm. uh, magnesium, and Zinc. Yep. So, sorry, I forgot that last one for a second. I had <laughs> it to, happens. Had a little bit of a brain fart. Um, so, you know, magnesium is really helpful for making sure almost all of our cellular pathways function. It's a cofactor in, I think, over 300 yeah, cellular pathways. So many. So it may not be that you feel one kind of symptom from magnesium deficiency. I mean, yes, you may have more cramping, um, you know, things like that. But because it's involved in so many pathways in the body, you may just be deficient all around and not even realize. So that is one uh, mineral that we definitely want to put back. And magnesium is often depleted even with stress. So we don't need to add another stressor to the body that is taking away more magnesium. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, well, not obviously, but <laughs> selenium and zinc also very uh, much involved in hormonal balance, our thyroid, our mm -hmm. immune system. So obviously all very important functions that are necessary for our well-being and health. Yeah, and I'm definitely the lazy one. So I am all about, I am. I'm lazy like, too. <laughs> I just want everything convenient. So when it comes to fortifying things, I'm just, you know, like as much as I can get in one place, I definitely appreciate that because I'm like, oh, what, another formula? You should see my cupboards. It's kind of scary. But yeah, I just like to take less stuff, have less bottles to schlep around. Um, so I have really been kind of, I really like some of the, higher quality um, multivitamin formulas. So they're gonna be on the higher potency, but very clean. As a way of just getting like most great quality multivitamins, you're gonna get a lot of your Bs and you're gonna get a lot of minerals. Mm. Um, they're never gonna quite have enough magnesium. So if I was gonna pick two, then I would take, you know, a high potency multi to get all of that and then supplement with extra magnesium. And so I really like, um, there is this line called Pure Genomics by Pure Encapsulations because some of you guys are starting to figure out some of the methylation changes. We'll get into that in other videos down the line. But basically, it's way too complicated, complicated to get into right now. <laughs> but some of these new lines account for, you know, if you're not tolerant of cyanocobalamin or methylcobalamin and you need a certain kind of B12. Um, the one thing I will say, just because I think the most common thing to look out for if you're taking B complexes or multivitamins is a lot of them use cheapo synthetic folic acid instead of folate. I know thumbs down, <laughs> thumbs down. And so some people tolerate it no problem, but there's some studies out there that look like long term that could be bad news for us. And so um, we both always say folate only, no mm -hmm. folic acid. So just check those labels and we'll always put, you know, specifics in the description box for you guys so you can see some of what our picks are. But yeah. And that's a little bit of an example. I always tell patients, you know, you could always get like a really good quality car or a good shoes for a great deal and cheap price. But the way that nutraceuticals and vitamins and supplements are distributed and manufactured and made, especially in our country, in the U.S. and the States, is that you kind of get what you pay for. So if you see something that's way cheaper, there's usually going to be a reason. Either the yeah. dosing is going to be small, it'll be mm -hmm. good quality, but very small doses, or 
poor quality or synthetics like the folic acid instead of folate. So, lots of adders and fillers, mm -hmm, you know. dyes, colors. Mm -hmm. So binders. really making sure that the quality is good and that you're getting good enough doses. I would say for my patients, mm -hmm. just for a different perspective, I do tend to do more single nutrients and single vitamins. Lazy over because here. Because <laughs> I wanna get a high enough dose yeah. of what I wanna give, depending on the patient. Um, maybe a good happy medium would be like Dr. Angela was saying, um, a B complex mm -hmm. that's gonna get all the B6, B12, and folate, mm -hmm. magnesium, because we wanna do a little higher bit of a dosing. higher dose. We usually say, we kinda, you know, maybe about 500 milligrams is a good place. Um, and then for me, I might do, you know, at that point, maybe a multivitamin. Um, I also like a brand called Thorn, and mm -hmm. they make something called Basic Nutrients. And I make my patients or ask them to take the full dose of six capsules so that you're really getting the full benefit of all the nutrients. So that could be like um, three and three or two, two, two yeah. with food. So, you know, instead of taking all six, you know, that would be a little bit of a happy medium or just do two if, if you are Dr. Angela's patient <laughs> or her. <laughs> I am the worst. So, yeah. but you know, the most important thing here is to recognize that if you are on hormonal contraception, that you know whether you feel it right now or not, and you know that's the whole point of naturopathic medicine is that we want to prevent uh, bigger things from happening later, and that the body is sort of silently working or silently getting depleted. Um, just keeping in mind that you want to replace these minerals and nutrients that um, you're losing through your hormonal contraceptive. That's so um, make sure to replace those. And you know, we just wanna emphasize that we are all doing our best, mm -hmm. whether it's you know, our nutrition or our nutraceuticals or how we're treating our friends and family. We are doing our best and this whole community and our whole video series is really just about working together to do even better in to whatever way that we each can. Other. Mm -hmm. To so. keep improving, you know, to just keep on keeping on, like mm -hmm. we're always gonna integrate new things and then from that place, you know, keep doing better and so. So do what you can and then do even more when you're able. And, and help your friends learn. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you are on hormonal contraceptive, make sure to talk to your naturopathic doctor, functional medicine doctor, get on some, uh, at least to be complex and things to replete uh, yourself. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. We're so grateful and we love the community that's developing and we will see you back here soon. Yeah, thanks for being here, everyone. Share with a sister if you think this will help her and we will see you back here next week and let us know any topics you wanna to learn about. Mm -hmm. Chime in, comment away. We will do our best to answer questions and work on those topics for you all. See you back here.